About 25 years ago, the very first Viper took a bite out of the pavement. And to celebrate that fact, Dodge has introduced four special anniversary edition models that you see behind me. First of all, let me have you say your name and your title. Ryan Kim. Okay. I am today. I'm the Dodge uh, Viper brand manager. Okay, nice. And what are you tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm normally Dodge SRT brand manager. Yeah, and Ryan, we're standing here in front of well, a plethora, actually, four Dodge Vipers, and these are the special anniversary edition Vipers for the 25th anniversary, right? Yes, the first Viper came about in 1992, yes. and it's 2017. We're definitely celebrating our 25th year. And unfortunately, these are also going to be the last Vipers since you guys announced 2017 is the last year for these. Yes, this is the last model year for the Dodge Viper, and we're going out with a big bang. Um, and today we brought four uh, limited edition Viper models to show. with this beast is that I just obviously don't fit and when I sit upright in it I don't see out of it either so I end up having to drive it like my mom uh, and uh, that is uh, obviously no good that is no good the other problem with the Viper I think and the reason that perhaps it's going away is because of this as much as I love manual transmissions let's face it the people who buy these cars are probably older and are probably more keen on an automatic transmission, but there's no automatic choice. So I would bet that that has at least killed half of potential sales of this vehicle. Um, yeah, it's a tight, it's a tight car. I just don't, uh, I don't, I don't fit the damn thing. So tell me about the first one we've got here. The first one is a Voodoo 2. Yes. It's uh, commemorating the first uh, Voodoo ACR that we had in, back in 2010. It has the similar Voodoo 2 striping that you would uh, expect, and it's based on the ACR Extreme with the Extreme Aero package. Well, let's keep going. Let's look at the next one. This yeah. one is something interesting. It says ACR 128, and I take it the 128 is the lap time. Yes, the 128, uh, Roman, you're exactly right. That is a our you track record. Yep. It is our track record at Laguna Seca Raceway, yep. and it's, um, Laguna Seca was one of the 13 tracks uh, which we received the uh, production car lap records. So how much downforce does this have? This car at uh, max speed is yeah. up to two, uh, one ton of downforce. And how much does it weigh? It weighs a little over 3,300 pounds. So it can't quite go upside down. No, not quite, but it could get, sideways. On a, it could get uh, on a pretty bank track with, with ease. Look at the size of that wing, man. That is, that is enormous. Yes, it's the, um, the famous ACR Extreme uh, uh, rear wing. Yeah. Um, what we have special here is the delivery of the original 133 when we previously broke the track record at Laguna Seca. Yeah. We just went back and broke it again. You know what? That will uh, embarrass any Subaru <laughs> wing. <laughs> <laughs> if I were a Subaru, I'd be like, oh boy, don't mess with that guy. Well, the thing is, these wings are functional. We designed them to be not only uh, have a, quite a bit of downforce, yeah. but to be aerodynamically efficient. There we go. so much grip, there is so much torque, there is so much of everything in this vehicle that there goes the back end. <laughs> it's violent, it's powerful, it's loud, it's hot, it's uncomfortable. Oh, I just missed that. What, what more do you want a supercar to be? <laughs> Alright, so tell me about this one, the GTSR. Yes, this is, I would say, almost everyone's childhood favorite dream car. Well, at least it was mine. Yeah, this is and the one you have on your wall. Exactly. You have a poster of this and a model in your, on your desk. Uh, this is a commemorative edition of the original GTSR um, back in 1998. Then we built a hundred of those and we will build up to a hundred of these uh, in 2017. Not a lot. Not, not, not too many, lot. no. And speaking of building these cars, 
what are the price ranges? How much do they start at? You know. Well, all well, the four cars we have here it ranges from one hundred thirteen thousand to yeah. about one um, uh, one forty. But uh, customers, yeah. we're, we're still we still have our Viper Concierge uh, Viper customization one of one program. If one of these don't fit your uh, flavor, you could definitely build your own custom Viper. Pick your own color. Pick your own interior. Pick your own wheels. Aero package. You could pick it all. Now, 113,000 may sound like a lot, but when you think that these cars will or have embarrassed many more expensive supercars on what 13 racetracks? Well, it's the fastest street legal production car today. So yes, it embarrasses other cars that have a price tag north of a million dollars. All right, Ryan, that was a softball question. <laughs> now, it's still a hardball question, but I'm not going to ask you right now. I'm going to ask you about this car first. Tell me mm -hmm. about this one. This is the Snakeskin yep. uh, GTC. And what we have here that is very special that we want to show off today is not only the snakeskin green color, but the snakeskin stripe. That is painted on under the clear coat. So this, is, so, this isn't a sticker or a decal? No, it's not a sticker, it's not a, it's not a decal, no. It's hand painted just like all of the Viper bodies. It's all hand painted um, and it's, it's very special with the aerodynamics package. It just looks beautiful. I'll give you this, even though I don't fit, even though this is exactly the wrong car for me, it is just a hoot. And there is something so very, very American about this vehicle, as much as they try to make it look more, let's say European with the curved lines, this is just one badass car. All right, so I said I'd ask you a hard question. Okay. Right, and here it is, it's not that hard. If you had to buy one, which one would you get? Oh, hands down, GTSR. <laughs> That's the easiest. I grew up with that poster and the model of that when I was a kid, 98. I've that's my dream, you know, dream car right there. Now, as a as the manager for the brand, do you get to actually drive into work? You get to like I, I do um, get to drive them from time to time, yeah. but uh, you know, I'm, I'm really I'm really proud of uh, uh, just being part of the team and, and making this uh, happen for a lot of people. And uh, all right. I'll ask you actually a real hard question. Will, maybe not a hard question, maybe an impossible one. Will, <laughs> you know, the Viper has come and gone, come and gone, mm -hmm. right? Will it come back again? Unfortunately, I can't tell the future. <laughs> I wish I could. Yeah. Um, and I, I just don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but we're here celebrating the 25th year now. So let's talk about these guys. Yeah, it's 2017, you know. All right, there you have it, guys. If uh, you want a Viper, you've got, what, uh, maybe a year and a half to get yourself one because after that, they're all gone. And uh, there are four fine examples if you want something that's going to be very special. You said, what, 100 examples of that one? 100 of that one, yeah. of the GTSR, yeah. 28, up okay. to 20 of the 128, and what up to 31 of the oh, Voodoo 2. This guy? 25. At least. So the, this is the one right here with the hand painted <laughs> snakeskin. This yes. is the one to go to because, you know, you can just see this at like Barra Jackson 25 years from now. You know what? But if, if, if people are interested in having a very rare car, yeah. we have the one of one program. Oh, that's right. You can go. Exactly. You'll not have another one out there that yeah, looks just like yours. Don't do that because that's, <laughs> that's your car and nobody else is going to want your car, but somebody will want this car. A lot of people will want these cars. Do you actually number them? Will you put like one of 28? Yeah, actually yeah. On, our, um, on the interior, yeah. all of these cars will have a custom uh, instrument panel badge right there. Oh yeah, one of, yeah. And zero, they will be uh, serialized. Yeah. And you, if you buy this car, yeah. you can customize it with your name on that badge. Wow, that's cool. It's really cool. So I, I expect that that one will have Ryan Kim on it. <laughs> <laughs> one of them will. <laughs> All right, thanks Ryan. I really Thank you very it. much. Thank you. I'm with Ryan. My favorite is the GTSR. That blue stripe on white just looks fantastic. Of course, I'm a little bit sad because the Viper is going away, but I've got hope because this has not been the first time that the Viper has gone away and come back. So maybe this isn't goodbye, but just au revoir. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Thanks for watching, and remember, check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, special 25th edition 
Viper Reviews. Ciao. All right, first run. Just trying it with um, launch mode on the uh, basically running automatic, right? So just left it in drive, put it in launch mode. So that was the car 100% doing everything there. It kind of got a little bit of wheel spin, then it bogged down, and then finally uh, kind of hooked up and went. <laughs>